Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Jello and this is Over the Shoulder Gaming with another unboxing of something that I just got yesterday. So this is the Mario Red and Blue Edition Nintendo Switch. Now this one retails for around $300 or your regional equivalent depending on where you are, give or take. And so things to note here, I know there have already been a lot of unboxings. Thing to note here is this is the very first switch that has a different color for its shell because the other switches that actually came out you know as uh, apart from you know the og switch usually came in let's say different themes like um you know monster hunter one the animal crossing one and whatnot but it would always come with a black shell for you know, the console itself with the screen and all that. Now this Mario Red and Blue Edition one is the first to actually come out with a different color shell and it's red. So it goes all the way around except for, you know, the kickstand which I'll be going into later. So all of it is red. Dock is red, the Joy-Cons are red. Okay, but most importantly the console itself is red and it's uh, actually a different shade of red if you were to compare it like let's say for these joy cons it's a different shade of red compared to the og red on the original red and blue uh, switch where the joy con the red side it's actually different so it's a different shade if you guys are wondering and this also has a a uh, other color which is the blue part of it since Mario's got like red, blue, and yellow, right? So the blue is actually uh, the color that we find on the Joy-Con grips and the Joy-Con straps. So when you attach them to the red Joy-Cons, they look really nice. And then there's a touch of yellow here for the uh, adjustment of the straps. Now the dock is also the same shade of red. So as you can see here, it's still the it's still basically the same dock that uh, you know came with the original switch. The only thing is it's colored red, and same with the logo here. It's also a shade of red. Would have been nice though if the the logo or the branding for the Nintendo Switch was something like white, like what we see at the back of the Switch itself. That would have been nice. That would have been a good touch there. And other stuff in the box uh, would be the usual things that would come with a new switch. So you, you would have the HDMI cable and of course the charger okay, to charge up your switch. Now, it also came with a few freebies like this carrying case, which is also Mario themed. And, you know, red and blue with the zippers in yellow. And this is how it looks inside. So you got something like a kickstand of sorts I guess uh, yeah and this one where you get to keep all of your game cartridges there and maybe I don't know if you can actually slip accessories here might not fit though okay now going back to what I did mention I really don't understand why Nintendo decided to keep the kickstand black um, maybe it's because you get to lose it often or it easily breaks off. I don't know. I mean, they painted this entire thing red, right? So it would have been nice if this was a solid red color, including the kickstand. But it is what it is. It doesn't look bad. I guess it's just a matter of preference. It's a matter of taste. Okay, now show you guys how it looks with the Joy-Cons attached. So as you can see, it becomes a solid piece of red. We're just having the bezels 
bezels of the screen itself um, colored black. But everything else, if you look at it around the switch, it maintains that shade of red all throughout, blending in from the Joy-Con to the body of the switch itself. Again, except for, you know, the black kickstand. Okay, so with all that said, should you actually buy this red and blue switch? Okay, now my answer is no, if you already own one. If you already own a switch and it's still in good working condition, you know, just stay with it. I mean, it's it's just a color. You, you, you tend, it's just playing the same games. So if, unless of course you're going to be collecting it. If you're a collector, then by all means, go get it. But if you still don't own a switch, then I say yes, go get this one. This particular model is actually very, very nice and it's very unique as compared to the other uh, Nintendo Switch models that came out, you know, with, with the Animal Crossing uh, models and, and whatnot. So I'd say yes, you know, go ahead if you don't own one. It's the best color to own, okay, if you if you don't get. Okay, but probably you're asking me, what about the rumored Switch Pro? Okay, I mean, that's coming up, right? Well, it's heavily rumored, yes, but we really don't know when it's coming. And so if you wait for that, then you, you're actually missing out on you know, all of the great games that the Nintendo Switch has to offer right now. So, you know, don't wait for that one. You know, just get a Switch. If you're planning on getting one, don't wait for the Pro. And if you can get a hold of this one, this is the best color to get. Okay, so what do you guys think of the Mario Red and Blue Edition Switch? Is it something that you find nice? Is it something that you might potentially get? So let's talk about it in the comment section down below. Do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. And once again, thank you guys for joining me today. I'll see you all in the next one. I'm gonna go play now. <laughs>